Hey, welcome back to another video. Uh, this week, I'm gonna swap these V brakes for disc brakes on the Cannondale. And if you haven't already seen this bike, I did a little intro where I went through what I thought it was um, and yeah, basically introduced the bike. So go back and check that because today it's all gonna be about the brakes. Now this bike is roughly a 99. It came with the V brakes as standard, but a lot of the bikes at the time had optional disc brake mounts it's not too hard to change them over we've got to remove the v-brake system so just take these off take the levers off the bars if they are integrated then you'll have to get separate brake levers and shifters um, and then we just have to change the wheel set as well which is going to be probably the biggest part of the cost um, changing a hub or a complete wheel set that has got a hub mounted disc brake on it um, from you know these V-brakes so that's probably going, to be, probably going to be the main part of the cost so we're going to need the trusty 5mm just to get these these are Promax V-brakes get these off I think these could have been standard spec for the time there's a little confusion over what model what year of bike this is because um, it's not labelled so it's either an F1000 or apparently it could be a F7000 SL. But the trusty 5mm will get rid of these. And we can just snip these cables and just take off all the noodles and unroot all the cabling Now up on the bars, if you don't want to destroy your grips there is a way of getting them off. If you got lock on, obviously you just unwind them, there you go, hot dog. Now if you've got a stick on, I guess, grips or normal slip on, should I say, you can just gently work them off. Um, I use hairspray to stick them down. But that will also work to get them off. Just working it round. Comes off without damage. And then while we're up here. 5 mil again, for me anyway, to remove that XT lever. Now the new brakes for me, I'm using cheap ones, these are Pro Max, I think for a set, including the rotors, cut to size, they're about, I don't know, £60 for a set, um, so they're not too expensive. and using them briefly having used well the front at least briefly seems to seems to be okay okay. unfortunate Again, the front fork already has the mounts. Looks like there's a bit, a tiny bit of adjustment in there. But I'm just going to loosely bolt everything up until I get the wheels in, where I can then hopefully centre it all. It's 
just unloose. You can see there's a little bit of lateral play in it as well, that's just to centre everything up. So I've got a bit of up and down, a bit of vertical, a bit of horizontal. I'm just going to pinch those up. Just for a second. Now as I said, wheel choice is probably going to be your biggest expense, whether you want to go for something expensive or as I found these Hope slash Mavic wheels um, probably cost me about, I think this front wheel was a 40 and the rear wheel was about 100 um, and unfortunately the kits are meant to come with discs. Now I seem to have misplaced or I didn't even receive the disc for the rear. The front is already on here. Uh, just do them up in a alternating pattern. So like one, two, three, four, five, six kind of thing to the torque specs given. Um, and you should be all right. But yeah, I don't know what I've done with the rear disc. I'm gonna have to order a new one. Now these brakes come with a little spacer, so make sure you take that out first. And then, hopefully we should be able to awkwardly move across the camera. There we go, and get that in. Now if the wheel is in the dropouts nicely, what I should be able to do is here the bird is. I can position this where I want it. Just do those up on the on the mount. Now with that one loose, hopefully the way is, if I clamp the brake on, and then clamp these up, I'm hoping it'll be centred. It's not too bad. Rubbing on one side still. What side is it rubbing on? It's rubbing on the back side a little bit. So these need to move to the back slightly. Hard to do this on camera. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I don't know how well you can see it on this one, but the Cannondale needed a little bit of extra help to to reach where the wheel had positioned the disc. Um, yeah, the stuck bolts in this Pro Max caliper had it sitting far too far forward. There was no spaces on this side, so I've got some longer bolts, some stainless M6, and I've actually used a washer on each one, which is what probably weigh a mil um, and then I've used you know like the Presta um, valve retrain retaining rings uh, I've used one of those on each one so they've got one of them on each one and a washer 
it's pushed it over enough the longer bolts as well support it um, and now it sits in the right position where I can actually fit it on and adjust it because before it didn't let me do that so that is on and that is adjusted uh, unfortunately it is a necessary evil but cable ties do have to go on to keep the cable held in position unless you do get an adapter for these which you can get And there we have it, it's uh, sitting pretty now on disc brakes, yeah. So I've upgraded from the Vs to the discs, took off obviously the Promax uh, V-brake calipers, the XT levers and put on these Promax front and rear, the 160 front and rear, um, actually two, <laughs> two different sets I didn't realise. Um, and some Hope Hubs with Mavic rims front and rear as well. So yeah, nice little upgrade. Uh, I would love to keep this but I don't think I possibly can so it probably will get sold. Um, and I've gone through the gears, check they're all working, freshened up the shifters and um, it would be a nice little bike. But if I've got any riding footage I'll put that in now. Apart from that, thanks for watching like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz and I'll uh, see you in the next one